Bro, how sad is this? I look so pathetic looking like, like, what the? Somebody gotta see this key and be like, damn, this kid needs a, needs a GoFundMe account for life. I can't believe it, dude. I actually cannot, I'm just gonna do it, just for the boys. I don't have any sleeping neighbors at this time of day, but whoo, that's good. If you missed yesterday's video, which I don't know how you could see that title and not watch it, but if you missed yesterday's video, the one Jay-Z Lexus is officially alive. There is no more smoke. I'm making sure, I'm looking around to make sure there's no neighbors like staring at me. Like before we get this thing on the road, I really, I wanna get this thing driving as soon as possible. It's ready to drive on exception for a few things. Aside from the fact that it's not very safe, I need seat belts, like I need little things, little little patches here and there. Um, there's a few things I need to do with the motor still. It's not quite ready to get on the road yet. So today I wanna make sure we get as much done as possible, maybe get it driving around a little bit more. Given that this car does continue to run well and everything like that, if we can get everything patched up and sorted out, I'm going to be debuting this car. I mentioned yesterday that I'm gonna have one final Texas meet at the Renegade meet next Friday, which is gonna be, I think, what time is it? Do you know what time it is? It's like eight o'clock or nine o'clock or something like that. Follow my, you know, just follow my Snapchat and I'll keep on giving you info, but also look up the Renegade meet in Dallas. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be debuting this. If I can actually drive it out there, if this car is reliably driving, your boy is gonna be debuting the Lexus. It's at pull position, um, let's just say eight or nine o'clock. I'm not quite sure yet, but look up Renegade meet. Don't know yet. And this car kind of needs an exhaust on it. As beautiful as this intake looks right now, and as sexual as this, I mean, that is sexy. As sexy as that looks, I need to get an actual intake so that I'm not sucking in barbecue bugs. But I also need to get a battery tie down because at low speeds, this welded diff is brutal and it shakes the battery around and I don't want another Miata situation. Not gonna happen. We're trying to find random nuts to fit on the, uh, the seat belt right here. We don't have the nuts. We were not given those whenever we got the seats, so that kind of sucks, but we're having to, we might have to go get some pretty creative and get some at the parts store. But I also have a super top secret thing um, that I'm gonna show you guys today. Get out of there, there you go. DND Performance, which is the, uh, the guys who have the, sent me the steering wheel that I'm actually using right now. They have a uh, brand new, like kind of classified, actually it is classified. You, this is the first time you'll ever see it. They're, these are not for sale yet, and uh, they really didn't want me making like a full like dedicated video or anything about it, but I'm actually gonna change the hub from what it is right now, or the, the quick release. I think they said they've uh, they've prototyped a new quick release that's a little bit better than their old one. Let's actually get this little clamshell off. I get this clamshell off, and I'm gonna actually move my st steering wheel down so that I don't look seven years old driving this thing, because every time I've driven it, everybody's like, oh, bro, you look like a three-year-old driving it. Yeah, because my steering wheel goes up and touches my freaking windshield. Still red, nice, nice. This is the whole quick release assembly. Oh, this is, this is nice. This is dope. This is like really nice. I got this little guy off. Very nice. I'm super excited to see what this new one's gonna be like, because there we go. Nice, nice, nice. Bros, if you guys don't have an impact, this job is about 50,000 times harder. Nice. That's how it's done. Almost smacked myself in the mouth. Well, I'm a dingus. They didn't send me, it's not the hub that they replaced, it's just the quick release itself. So I just took the whole hub off for no freaking reason. Nice meme, Evan. You memed yourself. Putting it back on. Oh, that's loud. Yep. I know. So this is still a prototype, like I told you guys. Um, it's really confusing. I don't know if I need a different hub. I'm pretty sure that there's supposed to be a different hub. It's not supposed to be compatible with the old school hub because you're doing a thread into a thread and it just does not work. Um, it is not working. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it, try and take it out now that I got it wedged in here. This is really gonna be difficult, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my old one back on and I'm gonna see if there's anything else I need, cause I don't know, maybe I just didn't get another piece to this, but you can't do a thread and do a thread. It just doesn't work that way. This is like a super, super common Lexus problem. You gotta like 
push this little gear down right in here, and then you can actually lower it. There's actually ways to fix it and prevent it, but um, it just, I, I never have. You go all the way up, and then for some reason, it gets stuck, can't go back down. Haha, <laughs> nice, good old Lexus. Sick job, Toyota. Now I won't look three years old driving this thing. I am hyped. I can actually drive this car. Do I look like I'm four? Nope, I don't. I look like, like I'm- you're five. <laughs> yep, I'm five. I am five years old. Not the gumdrop buttons. That's what you sound like. Not the gumdrop <laughs> buttons. And today we have to go return my tails because this little guy got absolutely destroyed, annihilated yesterday. And this guy, if you watched yesterday's video as well, got mutilated with uh, a lot of torque. A lot of torque. So, we'll turn these tools. I need to find two nuts that are similar to this size, a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna use these for reference. And then, yeah, intake filter. I would like to try and spend the least amount of money as possible on the intake filter. Let's see how cheap we can get on this. The reason I say I wanna get the cheapest intake filter possible is because so many people spend so much money, like, waste so much money on cold air intakes. Thank you for burping. People waste so much money on cold air intakes or short ram intakes or stupid stuff like that and they're absolutely useless. Most air boxes actually, most stock air boxes are actually most efficient and it's stock in their stock forms. Just letting you know. Sorry. There we are. Back again. So this is an M Oh I wanna say this is it. Kind of an M12 by one and a half or is an M12 at 1.75. We could probably just go ahead and get both of them. Okay. There we go, oh, there we go. M12 by 1.25, I think that should be good. Now let's see what, uh, I, I wanna see how much their intakes are. So let's see what filters they have. Let's see bro, oh, 60 bucks for K&N, dude? I'm trying to spend like 30. Let's go over here to see their Spectre. Oh, ho, ho. 30 bucks, three inches. Just a nice white color too. So what color should we get, should we get white? We got, we got fully customizable options here. Or you get this little cone filter right here. Actually, the smaller the better. We might actually be able to do this. This might be best. So let's do, uh, you wanna get red? Mm -hmm. We're gonna get blue. Or you wanna get white. I think well, white's- I gonna get dirty. Yeah, that's right, you're right. But it looks cool. We'll do red, we'll do red. Here we go. 25 bucks, bros. That's it. Or wait, is this, is this what I need? Yeah? All right, nice. $10.80. How's that? How's that for an intake? Good. That's 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 what I'm talking about. I'm gonna try and gain a little bit of efficiency, or maybe half the horsepower with the cold air intake, while spending three hundred dollars. Nah, you don't want to do that. You want to keep your stock power and spend ten bucks. Yeah, yep. you want to do that. That's nice. I like that. A moment when your car is too loud, you actually have to shut her off to order. Boys. Always get your girl a fun drink when you're out. Wanna make her happy? Do it. Bros. So I just want you guys to know, I'm not affiliated with S Spectre or O'Reilly's or anything like that. Just want you guys to know, this is just the cheapest way possible to get my butt an air filter. Let's open this son of a gun up. Come on, rip into it. Come on, babe. I'm a girl, I like it nice and neat. No. Ooh, ah. Oh, nice chrome. Make me throw up, please. All right, let's, um, I, I actually like the fact, bro, they lied to me. They said it was supposed to be three inches. No, it can go down to three inches. It can go down to three inches? Oh, yeah. multiple sizes. Goodness. That's kind of sickering. All right, let's hold this for me. How do you get this off? Then how would that stay? Let's go, maybe we can go around it. We can actually, oh, that's actually a really good idea. We can just go around How the intake you seal it? with the hose clamp. Sick, bro. We're gonna end up taking this off now. It's pretty disgusting. This this thing has been, this thing is older than both Victoria and myself. And slide it over. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. Okay. Let's go! Look at that. Just real enough. What's up, dude? That's, that's dope. Bro, that is a big, I could fit this around your head. That's a big hose clamp. You sure you wanna try this? 
You then scrape yourself. Go 90s. Oh get a choker my necklace gosh, again. dude. That's disgusting. That's pretty cool. Or it could be no, like super not futuristic. Cool. Not cool at all. Stop. Yeah. Get that off your neck. That's Just gross. call me Katy Perry. No. The funny thing is this actually will stay on, so I can actually take this on and off with this little adapter piece on there for permanent good. Ooh, so maybe that's the adapter they were talking about. There you go. Hey! Lost hey. my tool! But we got it. Just a nice, cheap, easy mod. And look at that, it fits perfectly. Yeah, the other cone would have been And you know what, if big. we want to get edgy and crazy, we could even do, you want to get a little bit wild, your $10, your $20 intake, get a little crazy with it. You want to go, I, we could actually go mudding. We could go mudding. We could get underwater and we could turn the intake up like a snorkel like this, but it would be terrible. So we're not gonna do that. Come on, come on. There we go. Now it ain't moving. Guess what, bros? I spent less money than you, and it's the same amount of power. Let's go! I'm really hoping our guesstimates were correct. Um, let's see if these fit over that little bolt on the on the seatbelt. Because if not, I'm making a trip back, and that's gonna suck. <gasps> there it is. There it is, bros. That was it. The first guess, first try? 50. It was one M12 by 1.5. My first guess. Sick. Sick. Oh, I just dropped it. Rest in Sick. peace. Sick. Rest in peace. The best tool you can have right here. Watch this. Oh, I, I found an extension down there. That's nice. My nut is down there. Quit thinking that way, you pervert, Victoria. You should see, these, you should see the comments she makes to me outside of the camera. <laughs> Jeez, I think I'm inappropriate, goodness. Oh, we got it. Woo! Now we just need to get the uh, seat belts out of wherever they are. Sick! We'll have, uh, once I get this car fully caged, we will have uh, harnesses. But I'm not, I do not do harnesses with a harness bar. I don't do it, period. Don't ask me to get five point harnesses without without a cage. Press here, just just press there. What are you doing over there, woman? You're freaking crazy. What's up? Safety first, kids. Give it a test, yeah. Welcome to American Airlines, where safety is sometimes we care about. Oh, that's nice. How you feel now? You feel like we can drive? Wow, I thought you were about to... I, I don't know. I actually was concerned. I didn't know what just happened. She's having a seizure. What else? Okay, what else do we need to do today? Ah, we need to put on the downpipe. What was that from? Star Wars at that bar scene. Moss Eisley Cantina, let's get it. That's my girl. All right, let's get this downpipe on. It's still got some nice residuals on here from the last time we had it on, but hopefully because the turb skis are new and fresh, we won't have to deal with that again. All right, round two, bros. I uh, got the downpipe on. Let's see how this thing sounds. Well, actually, we already know how it sounds, but it's not gonna be nearly as loud as before. So tired of being under this car. Evan's birthday is coming up in about two weeks, but literally the day after his birthday is when we're loading up the U-Haul and moving out to California. So he gets to open his birthday present just a little early. I don't know what to expect. I think you do. I told you, yes! Let's go! What'd you get? Oh my god, you you listened! You got exactly the games that you, come here, you get a kiss. My wife is so good to me. <laughs> I've been wanting a Nintendo 64 for the longest time. Like my dad, I, I, I grew up playing the 64 and my dad sold ours without telling me. You know, he didn't he gave, he gave it, it away, away to he gave it away to somebody when I was like 10. I was devastated. Like I was literally I had a PS2 at the time, but I was so pissed that he gave away our Nintendo, and I've wanted one ever since. I made sure to get two controllers. So you have two controllers play. so we can both play. We can get like GoldenEye and everything too. Oh my God, Super Mario 64. I can't wait to Are blow out ready? the bottom again. Like Old school. Oh my gosh. Power on and off. This is crazy. We gotta get Mario Kart. We gotta get GoldenEye. I gotta get Star Wars Rogue Squadron. I gotta get Super Smash Bros. I have all of those. Let's go! If you have Nintendo Do you, yeah, anybody games, got some old 64 games you don't want, I will gladly take them to my P.O. Box. That is awesome. 
Oh and my god, Liz, this is what this is what a perfect wife looks like. No. Just showing you guys. That's good. So pretty, I'm, I'm ready to stop filming. I don't even want to go drive my Lexus anymore. I just want to play this. Oh, all right. Let's go. Let's go drive the Lexus. Let's see how it sounds with that downplay, bros. This car puts a smile on my face every time we get to drive. This is crazy. We're not gonna go too far. I want to make sure it doesn't smoke. I want to make sure it drives okay with my. $20 air filter. Let's go. Oh, that feels that's super rumbly with the downpipe. With the downpipe right below us, dude. That's loud. Hi. No, no, no. We can't, we can't expose oh, yeah. it yet. Hey. We haven't made the video about it yet. It drives great right now. sounds so cool when I'm just like cruising. Man, I love it. Check it out a little bit. Just the hair. You can kind of see it down there. It's hard to see it in the camera. Dude, I am seriously dead set on the fact that it's just like, I think it's still burning some old residual stuff from the turbos and then. I mean, y'all, it's nothing like it was before. Like, this is so much, yeah, like she said, it's so much better than it was before. Wow. You see all these sweat marks? Like for me yeah. touching the car, like that's disgusting. This car needs such a nice, like detail after Thanks. this is all done. This car does need some love. Give it a rev for me. Let's see. Nothing. I see nothing. Dang. All right. I hate for this to start getting repetitive, but I just want to take it for another drive again. Um, it's not smoking a lot, which is really awesome. Oh my God, dude. It's so good. gotten a good look at the booty of this car in a really long time let's go take a look at the at the cheeks oh yeah that's a good booty we need we need a nice wing though just just a reminder if you haven't yet you should subscribe make sure you hit that subscribe button right subscribe yeah you should subscribe if you don't subscribe then you suck you don't like cars likes a lot. Let's get a good downshift. Let's go, dude. This car literally just, I, it just makes me smile, man. It's nothing special and it sounds pretty terrible, right? Actually, it doesn't sound terrible. It's kind of annoying to listen to right now, but man. To go full throttle in this thing. I don't know. It's like I can't really describe the feeling I'm having right now. But looks like our intake's doing good, which means uh, since it's not giving us a hard time. Oh my god, oh my god. Why is it doing that? Huh? Why is it doing well that? Welded diff. Oh. That welded diff life is 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 mm. one more for the boys. Out, bros and would you look at that our freaking intake worked intake is good the intake mod is is good it's we're, we're back bros we're back this car is ready to drive you guys have no idea how ready to drive this car I am one thing for absolutely sure I need to do is uh, get a get a way to tie down this battery because with the well of diff 
slides around so much, and I, like I said earlier, I don't want another, I do not want another Miata situation like I had at the track. But I like it. The intake is doing us good. We're not gonna suck up no more barbecue bug. I'm sure we'll have a little hiccups here and there. That's how all project cars go, but I'm very happy with how this turned out. Thank you guys so much again for your support and watching all the videos and keeping up with the vlogs. I love you guys. This car will drive very soon, but tomorrow we have a very special, we have a very special deal we're doing with the SRT8. So make sure you tune into tomorrow's vlog. After you see the title, you're not gonna wanna not click anyway. So I love you guys. Peace out and be victorious. Man, that sounds so good. It's a little stinky. Yeah, let's go play some Nintendo. If you guys like Nintendo or you like cars, make sure you click on one of those two videos right in front of your face because I put them there for just for you. I selected them, handcrafted them just for you because I know you want to watch them.